What exactly is Xbox Wireless? Well, surprise, surprise! If you use a controller wirelessly on your Xbox One or Series console, you're using Microsoft's proprietary wireless technology called Xbox Wireless. In a nutshell, before you crack my cashews, Xbox Wireless is Microsoft's proprietary wireless technology that allows certified devices directly to an Xbox console without the need for adapters or dongles. Although there is the licensed Windows adapter, which we are going to test the speeds of because that correlates directly to the speeds you're going to be getting on your Xbox console, considering it is the exact same wireless protocol. Xbox Wireless uses a higher frequency than Bluetooth, which improves bandwidth and lag. We'll be the judge of that. It is important to note that all Xbox Series controllers, as well as the Midlife Refresh Xbox One controllers, which happened with the Xbox One S and X Midlife Refresh consoles when they did away with the little chin or lip on the top of the trollers, those all have Bluetooth. But it's cool that you can switch between Bluetooth and Xbox Wireless as compared to the PlayStation side of the house. PlayStation 5 uses Bluetooth 5.1. Understand how the pressure can get to a man. <laughs> Now, this is the most recent online article about Xbox Wireless, and it's from July of 2022, and that outdatedness is going to come into play a little bit, but the core fundamentals are still the same. The reason Microsoft decided to go with Xbox Wireless versus Bluetooth is bandwidth and interference. Xbox Senior Hardware Program Manager Gaby Mitchell previously told Windows Central that the wireless signal in the Xbox One consoles was capable of supporting eight controllers or headsets, eight wireless devices, while maintaining some sub 8 millisecond latency in contrast to Bluetooth 2 controllers. Now that is outdated information because a simple Google search will catch you up to speed that you can actually pair four controllers to a PlayStation 5 console via Bluetooth. Also, this sub 8 millisecond of latency I had to switch camera angles for this. The licensed Xbox adapter for Windows, which by the way, there's a bunch of generic options out there and I have an entire video about why you want to steer, veer well and clear of those bad boys because most of them don't even use Xbox wireless protocol. They're actually using Bluetooth and oftentimes an older Bluetooth technology like 3, 4.0. But when using the licensed Windows adapter, which uses the exact same protocol as on console, the best speeds that you're going to see with the series controllers, so the latest controllers, with the best wireless chipset from Microsoft is going to be eight milliseconds of input lag or delay on 125 hertz clock, which is non overclockable. I do still recommend overclocking if you're on the PC side of the house because it does tighten up the consistency a little bit, but you're not going to actually decrease your peak speeds. You can just go ahead and wipe that off. No pain, no gain. Do you want a fast controller or not? So we're getting an average of 11 milliseconds, but the older Xbox controllers, the ones with the little chin piece prior to the Xbox One midlife refresh, which are still using Xbox Wireless wireless protocol do get around 16 milliseconds of input lag or delay on about a 60 to 80 hertz clock. It's slow as all sin. And we can deduce that it's the exact same performance on console because the license adapter uses the exact same protocol, which is Xbox wireless. But with the Xbox series controllers, you are getting about eight milliseconds of input lag or delay on console, which isn't bad by any means. And when you go to use those Xbox controllers on PC, you do have two options for wireless play. You can put it into Bluetooth discoverable mode, or you can buy the Windows adapter, which is about 30 bucks on Amazon. I have seen them on sale, but yeah, they're usually about 30 bucks for the newer version, which I do recommend you get. It's a smaller dongle and the button for pairing is a little bit nicer to click and it seems to be a nicer device. So we now know what Xbox wireless is. My good friends, comrades and amigos drop in the comment section below what you're doing today and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers, so this information will reach and assist them as well. Much like the back of the TV, I've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below. And your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products, including controllers, control freaks, keyboards, mouse pads, clothes, and energy drinks. And keep in mind that you, the viewer, keep this channel running. The more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable, the better. So mollywop that subscribe button like it owes you money, and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow tomorrow.